where we, we are at, I, I'm so glad because uh, the year has been trust on us with this crisis of this virus, but God is always ahead of the devil. In fact, two years ago in, uh, in one of my messages, I actually, something when I preach is in the spirit of prophecy. I'll prophesy about the future. And you know this virus thing happened uh, towards the uh, end of uh, last year, which is still 2019. That's why they call it COVID-19. All right, but in, eight, in 2018, I sort of prophesied and I talk about a new strain of virus coming. Sit back, watch. Amen. So obviously God has done something in the spirit world. God has released a healing, anointing, uh, a new strain, if you would, of healing. They'll perform such things that are, uh, uh, such fits that we have never seen before. The devil is afraid and he's playing catch up. He's trying to create a new strain of virus that, that are like Ebola and uh, other kinds of strains of, of, of flu that is vi uh, virulent against uh, medical treatment and all that. But just let you know that we are in the best of generations. The rapture can happen anytime. We're in a generation that believes that we don't have to depend on the ways of the world. We are that generation that delights in God's Word. That's why you are here. You are here because you delight in God's Word. You delight in God's Word. That's why you are here. Amen? Amen? That's why you are here. And that's why we are all here, to hear what God has to say about this and what's God's answer. So God never plays catch up. The devil plays catch up. So even two years ago, I prophesied, uh, not just here, but in other times as well, not in just in this sermon, but in other sermons, I preached that there'll be a new strain of virus. And I mentioned a, a flu-like virus, which will be virulent against, uh, 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 you know, medical science and, and what they can handle in the natural. So something unseen can cause such devastation. During this time, he wants us to look to him. And it's a time where even as believers, we can ask ourselves, what do we, what do we really believe? We can do all we can, but only God can protect us. You know what I'm saying? Be wise. By all means, be wise. You know, the devil came to Jesus and said, why don't you jump down? You know, uh, uh, the, the Bible says, it's the only time the Bible, uh, the Bible says that the devil quotes the Bible. The only time he quoted the Bible was in the testing, in the wilderness, where he told Jesus to, to jump down, all right, from from the uh, pinnacle of the temple. And he says that the Bible says, the angels will bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. There are two things about the devil when he quotes the Bible. He never quotes accurately. He left out the word to keep you in all your ways. God wants to keep you. Number two is this. If you meditate on God's word, you know, it says, the angels will bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. It talks about normal life. When you walk normally, you don't see the dangers around you. But you know something? God will keep you from even hitting a stone. But if you jump down, that's not walking. That is stupid. Amen? When you jump down, you won't hit your foot against a stone. You will crack your head on the stone. So the devil, you know, with Revelation, is so simple. The Lord is telling us, don't be afraid during this time. There's dangers all around, not just during this virus uh, 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 crisis uh, at the present time, but there are all kinds of dangers around. We're just aware of it because of, it's more conspicuous. It is a daily walk. It's a daily walk, and you don't see a rock in front of you, and you, you step in, uh, you, 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 you stub your toe against it. The Bible says the angels will bear you up. It's like if I have uh, Angel Gabriel, amen. Would you come real quick? <laughs> Pastor Joe. Will you come? Will you come real quick? All right. Okay, let's get a light person. Brian, come. Brian, come. Brian is really light. Look at his. No muscles at all. <laughs> By the way, this is called wings. Okay, now watch this. All right. Um, left and right. Okay, left and right. You're in the center. Okay? So you're walking. The angels. And there's a big rock here. Okay, like, let's see this rock. Okay, you all both carry him right over. Okay? As he's walking, he's walking, he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. Okay, what, 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 what? You don't see the rock. Okay, normal. He doesn't know what happens, amen? This is what it means. They shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. Amen? Yeah, this guy's body is ripped, I'm telling you. That's why he's a security guy. And uh, breathing hard? You need to exercise more. Okay. All right, so Jesus said in Luke 10, 19, I love this verse, Behold, I give to you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. God will always make sure the devil is at your feet. Amen. And then you just trample him without realizing. It's, in other words, go by your own way, walking with God, and don't worry about the devil. Amen. Some people are always conscious, conscious of, of the devil. Don't have to be conscious of him. 
You just go your way, and then if it's in your way, you will trample on him. You will trample on the, on the serpents and scorpions. This reminds you of Psalms 91, right? Am I right? What does it say? You shall tread on the serp, on the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot. Amen. And I love this verse. It says, Notice that it says, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. Jesus is talking. And over all, over how much? Over all the power of the enemy and nothing, no thing, no thing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. In the Greek, by any means, there's a double negative. Very seldom you use double negative. But when double negative is used, like for example, the Lord shall not, blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not, is double negative, impute sin to him. The righteousness of faith that David describes, that all of us have. Now, same thing, nothing shall by no means in any way hurt you. When are we... I greet, I greet everybody in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I really thank God. God has given good opportunity to preach the rightly dividing word of truth. So, who is called Joseph Prince and he gave false prophecy and he speaks, God spoke to me. In 2018, because God is going to send coronavirus, I am going to give, I am going to give prophesy. If really God has released um, this prophesy by Joseph Prince and God has to release by every person. But he says, and God spoke to me and he showed me in 2018 because coronavirus will be happened in the world. And how can he say this, this word? If it's really true, how he, he has to speak again when corona will be stopped. Really, if he has that kind of power, he has to speak when corona virus will be stopped. He gave prophecy in 2018. But he has to give prophecy again, it will be stopped. So Joseph Prince gave props, prophecy. In 2018, he gave false, he is a false prophet. But he said, God spoke to me. But the Bible says God doesn't have partiality. God can speak to everybody. Even God can speak to me, God can speak to everybody. But God doesn't have partiality. The Bible says there is no partiality. But he says God spoke to him. Why does God have partiality to speak to everybody? Because God doesn't have to speak to everybody. The word is with us. The word is in our heart. The word is in our hands. Therefore, God doesn't have to speak to nobody. God doesn't have to speak to anybody. Because of the word is God. But this fellow who is called Joseph Prince, he says, and God spoke to me. Everybody says, God spoke to me, God spoke to me. There are international uh, false preachers, even I have seen a uh, TBN channel. I, I call that channel not TBN Trinity Broadcast Network, not I said Thief Broadcast Network channel, who is called false prophets all, all are speaking on a uh, TBN channel not Trinity Broadcast Network, but I said Thief Broadcast Network. But the Bible says, Matthew chapter 7, verse 22, many will say to me in the day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name have cast out devils? And in your name done many wonderful works? Verse 23, and then will I prophesy unto them, I never knew you, depart from me upon that walk in pity, in pity. So he said, depart from me. I knew, I never knew you. It means I don't know you. But, but many people will come, they will give prophecy. In the book of Ezekiel and Jeremiah, we see there are so many scriptures and God did not send them. God did not speak to them. 
but they come and preach his word god did not speak to them god did not send them but they come and preach his word the scriptures says very clearly about false prophets and is a false prophet therefore we have to understand his false prophecy in 2018 really if god spoke to him god can speak to everybody god has to speak to everybody so god did not speak to him but devil spoke to him he misunderstood that god had spoken spoken to joseph prince we see one more uh, scripture james chapter 4 verse 14 whereas you know not what shall be on the tomorrow for what is your life it is even a vapor that appear for a little time and then one is away but the bible says what shall be on the tomorrow you don't know what will be happen in the tomorrow today is our day not tomorrow your day but he says but the bible says what will be happen tomorrow how many people are died by corona virus he has to prophesy oh almost 2 million people are 20 million people are died by corona virus god spoke to me in 2018 he has to speak that word so he is a false prophet and he gave false prophecy and getting lot of money all singaporeans were deceived by his by deceived so all singaporeans were deceived by joseph prince and his doctrine and his preaching my beloved brothers and sisters he is a false prophet you have to recognize him he is a false prophet by his doctrine thank you so much